Yeah. I have an indoor cat, and um, just wanted you guys to know that. Uh, she's never been outside. I don't even think she knows there's such an, a thing as the outdoors. I think she thinks that when I leave for the day, I'm just standing on the other side of the door for 12 hours. <laughs> I just come back inside. <laughs> and when I do come back in, she's always startled. She does that sideways crab walk <laughs> with her hair sticking up. I'm like, what are you doing? I own you. I bought you at the pound for $36, including shots. I saved you from death. Now go sit down and relax. I think she thinks I'm just like a neighbor storing <laughs> at her place. <laughs> Coming over unannounced. <laughs> uh, so it's just me and my cat hanging around the house. When I say house, I mean a one-room hall that I can hardly afford. <laughs> but I, uh, I don't have a job. I mean, I, I guess I do. It's kind of ridiculous, though, what I do. I feel like I just tell jokes and money shows up. <laughs> Before I came to New York, I checked my balance, and uh, the automated teller was like, you have... Seven cents. <laughs> it's nice. It's the first time in my life I've had a disposable income. <laughs> uh, it's weird being a comic because it's like, at most, I work an hour a day, five days a week. And um, there's t <laughs> 23 hours to kill. And then there's some times where there's weeks on end where I don't work at all. So if it wasn't for the street sweeping signs in my neighborhood, I would have no motivation whatsoever to get out of bed. <laughs> but there I am, every Tuesday at 6 a.m., passively aggressively fighting my neighbors for the same spot that I know I'll never get. I never do. I always end up having to park in the same place like five blocks away. Now I'm just thinking about moving down there. Seems to make the most sense. And if comedy doesn't work out, what am I saying? If comedy doesn't work out. I just worked a week in South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> I think it's clear that comedy has worked out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's very exciting. No, I, I'm trying to come up with a backup plan because I, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm coming up with all these TV show ideas. Um, I have one that's a reality show, you know, with all the reality TV craze, I figured I'd come up with one. Um, let me know what you think. Um, it's called uh, Incest Survivor, <laughs> Appalachia. <laughs> keep, keep an eye out for it. I think it's going to be very popular. <laughs> That's reality TV. And then if that doesn't fly, I know the, the uh, networks are very excited about Inappropriately Touched by an Angel. 